Good morning, and welcome to a Good Friday edition of the Worth Report. Keep America vigilant to 24. Not so subtle. The controversial Obama Netflix movie has a scene showing a cargo ship crashing due to a cyber attack, and it just so happens to contain symbolism connecting it to the Baltimore Bridge attack. And CISA confirmed just one month ago that China had compromised U.S. transportation infrastructure via cyber attacks. An appeals court rules PA can't count undated ballots. The Fifth Circuit reblocks a Texas immigration law. A whistleblower reveals that Michael Avenatti had an affair with Stormy Daniels and cooked up the hush money hoax to extort the Trump organization ahead of the 2016 election. Disney drops its fight in Florida, and Speaker Johnson will deliver Mayorkas impeachment articles to the Senate. First, to the House of Representatives, where Speaker Mike Johnson has formally notified Chuck Schumer that he will deliver the articles of impeachment against Alejandro Mayorkas on April 10th, and that he must hold a full trial. Does anyone really think this will go anywhere? More dog and pony shows for the public. That's all this is, although we hope not. In Florida, Disney has reportedly given up the fight against Ron DeSantis in their quest to continue having their own government. In a settlement agreement on Wednesday, Disney reportedly acknowledges that its last-minute deals with the Reedy Creek Improvement District are null and void, which we previously reported on. The deals would have ensured that Disney ran its own government for the next 30 years. Of course, all of this started because Disney wanted fifth graders to learn about gender identity and gay sex, manufacturing the massive lie that a new law in Florida was a don't-say-gay bill. So great win there. In Pennsylvania, a huge win for election integrity. The Third Circuit Court of Appeals has ruled that mail-in ballots without dates cannot be counted in elections in a two-to-one ruling. This was a major source of election fraud in the state. Proponents of the election rigging tactic have argued that not counting them violates the Civil Rights Act of 1964, which says a person's right to vote cannot be denied for an error or omission that is not material in determining voter eligibility. However, the court ruled that, quote, the provision does not apply to rules like the date requirement that govern how a qualified voter must cast his ballot for it to be counted. So glory to God. Let's see if it holds. Will the U.S. Supreme Court get involved? Meanwhile, in the latest game of ping pong, the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals once again temporarily blocks a new law in Texas, allowing police to deport and arrest illegals. The only reason they're fighting this so hard is because they're using illegals to influence the 2024 election by registering them to vote and using the cartels to force and intimidate them into voting for Joe Biden. The cartels go around and collect ballots from the illegals, making sure their vote is for Biden, as they did in 2020, just on a much larger scale now. That's what's happening here. The cartels and the government are in cahoots. Now to a major story. Tony Saruga, listed as a CIA-slash-NSA contractor turned whistleblower, is exposing the plot against Trump as it relates to the bogus hush money case. Saruga says he used to share office space with serial liar Michael Avenatti, and that Avenatti had worked to defraud and extort Keurig for money through Tully's Coffee and posted on social media, quote, Avenatti shared details of his client Stormy Daniels, whose real name is Stephanie Clifford, case and the fact that her and Michael Cohen were actually having an affair since 2006, end quote. The whole hush money scheme was cooked up by Michael Cohen to extort the Trump organization before the 2016 election. Avenatti seemed pleased at how deviant Michael Cohen was. He says he overheard Avenatti bragging about it to Dennis Rodman at the Port Restaurant out on the patio in Corona Del Mar, California. My how it all comes out of the woodwork, huh folks? Now get this. Last month at a CISA conference, the U.S. government confirmed that China has compromised U.S. infrastructure, including transportation, via cyber attacks, citing potential military intervention if a catastrophic attack was carried out, which we think could be the premise to rig, delay, and or interfere with our 2024 election and usher in a complete military coup. But that's another story. Flash forward one month and we have the Baltimore Bridge attack. But that's not all. It appears to have been an inside job involving the deep state, 
and it was foreshadowed in Obama's controversial Netflix movie, Leave the World Behind, with cryptic symbolism. Want to keep watching? YouTube continues to ban our channel and remove our truthful reporting, previously labeling our content as, quote, harmful to the public. Support us and sign up for full segments at thewarfreport.com where we can say exactly what we want without the censorship or suppression. Only $6.99 a month or $49.99 a year. You can also make a one-time donation by clicking the new Donate button at the top right corner of thewarfreport.com to donate any amount you like and support us even more. We truly can't do this without you, so please support us today. Go to thewarfreport.com to sign up or donate. God bless you all. God bless President Trump and God bless America.